This is part two of the Craftsman Crate paper making project. Check out Craftsman Crate. Hi there. Welcome back to my subscription box life. This is part two of the Craftsman Crate paper making project. Let's go make some beautiful paper. For the paper making project, I needed to get a large bowl to soak the paper in. So I found a baking dish that fits the paper mold. So this is the one that I'm going to use. And I figured out what this is. This is the pulp. So you're supposed to tear the pulp apart, but this is so thick I can't pull it apart. So I'm going to soak it in water for a little bit and see if I can pull it apart easier. I'm just going to get it wet. I want my paper to be colorful, so I chose the pink color, the green, this is kind of a peachy color, and purple. So these will be easy to tear up and put in the water. I'm just going to move this aside for the moment and I'm going to tear these into little pieces and just put them in the water. It's kind of like confetti. Now remember, this is my first time ever making paper, so I did read through all of the instructions that Craftsman Crate gave me, but they also provided a picture guide. So I went ahead and looked that up online, and that was very helpful. Let me see if I can tear this now. So this is the pulp. Yes, it's, it's much easier to tear now that it's wet. I'm hoping to get more than one piece of paper out of this. And I have extra sheets of colored paper. So if I need more pulp, I can just use those extra sheets. Okay, that is finished. I also am going to put some of the little flowers in that they gave us. So let's see. I'm going to tear these. I'm going to add a few flowers. Right, so I have the greenery, the little flowers in, and the colored paper in, and now we just have to add some hot water to cover it. I'm going to add some more water, more water than this, but I want to just kind of get it stirred up a little bit, break some of this paper up a little bit. I also want to add some of the paper glue. So I'm going to do that next. It says to mix the paper glue with water. I'm doing it over our little tray here, just in case it spills. And you add a teaspoon of the paper glue that they gave us. The paper glue is supposed to help bond your paper a little bit better so that when you write on it, the ink doesn't bleed. 
I don't know if I'm going to write on this paper or not, but if I decide to, I'm, I don't want my ink to bleed, so I've just decided to go ahead and add the glue to it. I'm going to add a little more water. But we need to let it soak overnight. So I am going to put a little protective covering over it so that this doesn't get dirty. So we'll pick this back up again tomorrow. I've let the pulp soak overnight and now I'm going to whisk it with the little whisk that Craftsman Crate gave us and try to break up the pieces a little bit more. So here's what it looks like. Let's see how this breaks up. Just to whisk it around Try to break it up more. Make sure you do this project in an area where you don't mind if it gets wet. I think I have the pulp broken up as much as it's going to break up. So I'm going to take the paper mold and fill it with some of the pulp and we will start making our paper. Here's our paper mold. My table is a little bit crooked, so it seems like the pulp keeps moving to one side, but we'll do our best. So I'm just going to scoot down in. I think I have the screen completely covered. I'm going to, that might not have been a good idea. There we go. Clean the, the mold off a little bit. I think I'm going to have a very thick piece of paper this first time. But the good thing is there's plenty of pulp left in. The, my pan to make several more pieces of paper. So this will be the first time I'm going to just set it on the side here like this and grab the sponge a little bit and kind of press it down. Try, not too hard though. I don't want to break through the screen. Let's see if I can get some of the water through. Actually, I'll just use my hands. Press it down a little bit and spread the pulp out because I am seeing some spots in here that do not have paper pulp where it's very thin like right here is pretty thin so I'm going to see if I can push pulp into the areas that don't have any. I'm going to transfer my paper mold onto the towel the screen over it. Press it down. I'll just use my little spatula to see if I can get it loosened a little bit around the edges here. Remember, this is my first time making paper, <laughs> so we'll see how this turns out. I am going to make a few extra pieces of paper, too, because I have lots of mold, but I'm really liking the colors. 
in this piece of paper. Okay, let's see if I can. paper to come out now. It is, it's coming off the screen very easily actually. So now I've taken, taken this little um, sheet of paper that was given to us. It's called, what is it called? It's called the, the the cooch sheet. And it's it's meant for soaking up water out of your paper that you're using. And to me this this feels like a really strong piece of paper towel is what it feels like to me. That's what the texture is. Okay, I'm going to take the paper off of the screen and flip it over. There it is. I love it. It's a beautiful color. I'm hoping that maybe when it dries, this will stick together in the corner here a little bit better. This is where it tore. But I think it's a really beautiful piece of paper. I'm going to make a few more pieces and I will show you what they look like at the end of the video. But in the meantime, I'm going to let this dry. Well, that's my last piece of paper. The process got easier as it went along. Here's the paper that we made the other day. Let me hold it up to you so you can see it. It turned out really nice. I was able to create three pieces of the paper from the craft supplies that Craftsman Crate provided us. And there's actually enough supplies left over to make some more paper if I want to in the future. This was a fun, easy craft to do. And they also provide on the instructions sheet additional inspiration on how to make different styles of paper such as adding glitter or I think I'm going to create some paper with maybe some oregano and other kinds of herbs in it and put a recipe on them and give them out as gifts. So that will be my future paper making craft event. I'll let you know how it goes in the blog. So this was a fun, ex fun craft to do. Check out Craftsman Crate. I'm going to put the link down in the details. Click on it, get there. At the moment, there is a really good coupon and you do not need a coupon code for it. If you click that link, the coupon will pop up. Also, Go check the blog, mysubscriptionboxlife.com, and I will put up post pictures of the paper there and all the supplies that Craftsman Crate gave us. You can go check that out there to see exactly what you're getting. In the meantime, stick around. I'm glad you joined me. I have another box coming for you.